Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft and the adventures of our Starry Skies ancestors. And today we are back with Ragel, our King Cheetah, as he and his mate Nova stare in utter perplexity at the newest addition to their savannah kingdom, Zolt the Zebra Cult. So look at him! Oh my gosh, he is so cute! I cannot believe that we actually unlocked another pet. After months and months of months of not having any pets, we finally have tons of them. And Zolt is the newest arrival. So he is a young zebra cult that has actually come from the zebra clan, not to form an alliance with us, but actually as the result of us ruling over so much of the savannah land that we took over the land that the zebra clan that he is from claimed. So they are actually our subjects now, and Zolt has been sent to us for training, kind of like sending a apprentice or sending a child for foster in medieval societies so that they can grow up to become a knight in your service. So Zolt is basically kind of supposed to be a knight for our savannah prides, including the cheetah, who are the ones currently with him, and Zaidi, the reborn god of the antelope pride, or the antelope herd. Sorry about that. There's so many different animals that we have. But in case you guys are like wondering all of our different animals, since we now have so many, we have unlocked Zaidi, who is the antelope who has come to join us, reborn god of the antelopes. And every time he's with us, we collect shadow orbs and we can find ways of hopefully collecting those shadow orbs. And then eventually, if we get enough shadow orbs, we can use them to buy rare and legendary things. So Zaidi is very useful to have with us for collecting orbs. Zolt is just supposed to be with us to kind of provide a lot of a boost to strength. So we may actually see at the end of the day if he could actually this may be a fun idea if he could actually give us uh more elixir somehow so if he could go ahead and maybe give us a big boost in elixir that might be what zolt ends up doing as his special ability but he was unlocked by our phoenixes in the last episode that we had uh as a sign that they are the rulers of the savannah then we have dixley so little Dixley, who I really love, she is the uh, the precious, beautiful, wonderful baby giraffe after my own heart, who has been sent to us in order to help us discover any contaminants of the shadow god in the savannah realm. So when she's with us, her special ability allows us to roll and see if there was a shadow touch on the animals that we have taken out and like consumed their spirit energy. Don't worry, they'll be reborn. This is the afterlife for these animals after all. But she can help us find any evidence of a shadow touch on animals. And if they're shadow touched, we actually can get a special chest that she can help us unlock. So uh, Dixley's powers are quite interesting. With the moon bat, the moon mother bat's powers are to really support us, to really provide a lot of aid, and to be able to kind of pull on powers and elements from another world so we can have fun crossovers between our series. So those are all the pets we've unlocked, and we also have the cupid, but we don't talk about the cupid. The cupid, the attack teddy bear, and the snowman are probably the ones that we're just not gonna talk about. But give me some time and I'm pretty sure I can come up with the cool reason that we have a Cupid. But today, since we have Zolt the Zebra Cult, we're actually going to spend time with our cheetah and trying to level them up because it turns out that Rigel and his mate Nova aren't even high enough level yet to have any babies and that just won't do. So let's go ahead and get this hunt going. I think that Zolt is actually going to be extremely strong compared- Oh, are those other cheetahs? Are you trying to get in on our land? That is not how this goes. Alright, we gave him a good bop. <gasps> Look at Zolt! Oh my gosh, Zolt! Like, Zolt took him down almost on his own. That is ridiculous. Good apprentice! Good future zebra knight! He is a young zebra knight in training, and I think he's really proving himself. 
Can you just imagine? Like, he was probably sent here thinking that he was going to uh, be watched at, be being watched after and judged by some of the strongest creatures in all of the realms. Uh, ooh, there's a nice wildebeest. And so perhaps he was quite scared, and perhaps one of the reasons that they sent one of their children to the Starry Sky's ancestors. Oh my goodness gracious, we're just getting food left and right. I can't believe this. But perhaps he was sent by the zebra herd, so maybe his zebra herd was extremely scared. They have heard of the strength of the Starry Sky's ancestors. Wolves, lynxes, now they've even got lions, it, like phoenixes, cheetah, horses. Like, that's something to be concerned about, especially when you add the fiery uh, phoenixes in. So perhaps at the zebra herd, they were convinced that this could be the beginning of the end and getting eaten by the starry skies all of the time and losing all of their spirit energy. So they sent over one of their strong sons thinking that he could serve under them and maybe placate them. And the reality is that now Rigel is like, cool, this kid's gonna do all the work for me. He's actually really strong too. So I could imagine that Rigel is just trying to pretend that he's actually as strong as he is. <laughs> and just being like, I'm just letting you get all the experience that you need, kid. When in reality, Rigel has a long way to go before he's that strong. <laughs> oh, that just tickles me. So that little cult thinks that he is just like doing well. Like any minute now, they're gonna start showing me the secret moves that they know that let the starry skies take over such a huge territory. Wow, you know what? There's a lot of cheetah who are just being really sassy and thinking they have a right to our territory, and that is not the case. There we go. And we do need to level up Nova pretty soon, too. Cheetah are just so freaking fast. I think they are a little faster than the phoenix is, but it's very close. But this is so freaking cute. I love that we have a little overeager page, basically to use more of the night analogies. And he thinks that... He, oh, he doesn't know that he's actually the strongest member right now. Both of my cheetah are a lot weaker than our level 13 zebra. They'll catch up soon though. Especially if, you know, the zebra keeps feeding us so well. All right, let's go ahead and get Rigel leveled up. And then we need to get Nova leveled up too. She doesn't even have the ability to growl yet which is quite the pity. Right. Any... Oh, that's a giraffe, so giraffe are always protected. What are down there? Is that another warthog? And the gazelles are kind of a pain. Like, Zaidi isn't with us. Oh, that's a zebra. <laughs> okay, the flip side is when, you know, Zolt the, col the colt is with us. Then I assume that all of the zebra who approach us are going to be from his clan and we can't attack them. Man, but that's okay. It, if you're going to give yourself stories and you're going to give yourself challenges, my friends, you should constantly be willing to renegotiate them so that you really have a lot of fun. Giving yourself a good challenge in your stories can rewrite everything for how much you enjoy everything you do. So, yeah, when he's not with us, we can imagine that it's a different kind of zebra group. Alright, you know what? We'll go ahead and get the antelope. Whoa, jeez! What a strong cult! Whoa, look at that! Sweet! Now Nova has actually leveled up to level 5, so she can go ahead and growl now, which is very good. And we're getting... We'll, we'll try to get Rigel up to level 10. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, come along, Zolt. Let's see what a zebra colt can do. <laughs> Look at him! You know all of those big attacks that are happening are completely, like, Zolt's doing. Phew! Okay, that was really close. Not that Rigel is gonna, like, let the little guy know that he was actually very close to death. Come on, Nova, don't waste the food. We have to eat. We may not have the, ah. Oh, we may not have the appetite of lions, but we still shouldn't let everything go to waste. All right, what else do we have over here? That's a big thing. What an awesome zebra. 
All right, let's go ahead and poke this. He's not strong enough to take on the very angry bull elephant that's over there, but still. We're not doing too bad for ourselves. Good job, kid. All right, we'll go ahead and feast on this guy. Oh, I can't wait till we have more members. It's so much fun to see what all of the different members of our coalitions, when it's cheetahs, our prides. It'd be so cool if we could actually run into our own pride of lions, but like not have to fight them. That would make me pretty happy. There's a lot of the warthogs out today. And it is kind of odd to actually be attacking things and not worrying about shadow curses in the savannah. But you know, we're busy. We're trying to figure out what the, the little zebra guy is all about. But all right, let's actually go ahead and start exploring. I feel like this would give them the confidence to have such a strong assistant with them. This would give them the confidence to start wandering where we haven't wandered before. When the phoenixes begin to come to this realm, they'll be able to probably cover a lot more ground than us, but until then, I mean, it's- look at the cheetah go! Wow! It's just so beautiful. Alright, we'll go ahead, slow the ch these gazelles down, try to free them from their own shadow curse that they may be under. You never know. There we go, almost there. Wonderful. And we'll go ahead and come over here. And work on taking out this one. Good job, guys, good job. And let's investigate, like, let's just explore and investigate for a little bit. It won't be much longer that we are with Zolt today. And Zaidi probably would prefer if we were working with him as we take down all, ooh. Hey, what is this area about? This interesting rocky zone. I'm sure Zaidi, our antelope god, would prefer if we had him with us. But this zebra cult is so strong. Let's try to find like the toughest thing other than a boss that we could take on. Because I think this little, an this little zebra guy, I think he's got some spunk. I think Rydell really likes him. All right, let's go ahead. I mean, look at him. He just like headbutts that warthog like it's nothing. I'm so happy we have more pets. This is so cool. And Nova is leveling up, which is great. We should actually have Rigel leveling up any second now too. There, fantastic. Level eight and what level is Nova? Level six. Zaidi is doing pretty darn well on getting his experience too. We're very low on <laughs> elixir because we used up all of our strength, all of the strength of the Starry Skies ancestors elixirs on our lions so that they could be super strong. All right, anything else over here? Oh, there's something this direction. All right, and now, thanks to having the new subjects that we do, we actually do have the opportunity to explore areas we never have before. All right, there we go. And he's done too. Fantastic! So all right, Zolt the Colt, who will be helping us when it comes to getting more energy. He's already helping us to be able to explore new lands that we have never really approached before. I'm very excited about that. But let's see if he actually has it in him tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this dice, and if it's a high number, then we will see how much energy he might be able to provide us a boost for. Will it be nothing? Will it be a low number, for, so just a little bit of elixir? Or will he be able to give us a ton of elixir even if it cost me my precious, precious acorns? Oh, well, okay. One whole acorn. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do two so we can have just a little bit more of a speed. Okay, three acorns, there we go, for a speed boost. <laughs> So Zolt, Zolt, he, he's very eager to help, but unfortunately he didn't provide a lot of an extra boost of elixir energy. That's okay. I'm sure that he'll be able to help us out with that in the future. So let's finish up tonight by seeing what the ancestors have to say to Rigel and Nova as they continue to gain their strength and try to become strong enough to add new members into the Cheetah Coalition. So first up, Rigel. 
after letting Zoltan the Cold do most of the work. We have uh, some elixir. I think the ancestors are actually even telling him that he's using his wisdom when it comes to the books of letting Zolt the cult do most of the work. And possibly the hat represents a sign that we are supposed to be a little more aristocratic. So aristocratic even. So having Zolt the cult do the work is just a sign of um, of going up in the world when it comes, or in the afterlife, when it comes to the Starry Skies ancestors. And then with our lovely Nova, what special blessing shall we receive? We've been getting a lot of hints about bears lately. More elixir and some dark brown eyes for the horses. Huh. I think that they're just like thinking, look around. Like literally both of those, the bear is physically looking and the horse has eyes. So maybe just look around and perhaps even continue exploring the area that we are in. So all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could do please leave a like for Zolt the Cult. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.